Welcome to Diamondback Fitness. Today, we will assemble the 1260SC Studio Cycle. Once the shipping straps have been removed, pull outward at the base, as shown, to release the staples that secure the cardboard lid to the base. The lid should lift off easily and doubles as a great place for the garbage. Ensure no small items were left in the packaging. Never use power tools during assembly. All tools and hardware have been provided. To start, lift the front of the bike and slide front stabilizer B, the one with the handle, in place. Using two B4 screws and two B5 washers, hand tighten the bike to the stabilizer, then fully tighten with a six millimeter hex key. Repeat the same process as you did on the front with the rear, using two B4 screws and two B5 washers to secure it in place. Moving on to the handlebar assembly, start by pushing the red resistance lever all the way down. Then take the handlebars, starting at the back, and slide them all the way forward until you can no longer push them. After tightening the adjustment knob, take an A44 screw and insert it in the innermost hole from the bottom. Finish by installing the plastic end cap, A45, to the end of the slide assembly. We will then attach the console mast using two A44 screws and the 5mm hex key. You will then remove the two M3 screws from the console mast using the 2.5mm hex key. Be sure to hold on to these as you will use them to secure the device holder in a later step. Now is a good time to insert the included batteries into the back of the console before sliding it onto the mast. Feeding the cable through the console bracket hole, connect the cable to the one on the back of the console and use the L8 end cap to cover the console bracket hole. Using the M3 screws, secure the device holder onto the console mast using the 2.5 millimeter hex key. Removing the H1 screws from the main frame, attach the water bottle holder using the four millimeter hex key. Using the two nuts on the bottom of the saddle, secure the saddle to your bike. Be sure to tighten each one in turn. Note, this is also how you can adjust the angle of the saddle. Now it is time to install the pedals. You'll notice a sticker on the pedal, an engraving on the pedal, and a sticker on the crank arm indicating rider's right and rider's left. Starting on the right side, hand tighten the pedal into the crank arm going clockwise or toward the front of the bike. If at any point you meet resistance, loosen and try again. It should go in easy by hand for the first few threads. Finish it off using the provided wrench. The steps for the left pedal are the same as the right, except you will screw in the pedal counterclockwise or toward the front of the bike. Again, if you meet any resistance, loosen the pedal and try again. Then fully tighten with the provided wrench. Moving the 1260SC is easy. Just lift up the handle attached to the front stabilizer bar until the wheels on the rear stabilizer bar touch the ground and begin to roll freely. You'll also find that getting a great fit is easy. There are two adjustment points on the seat and two adjustment points on the handlebars. Just simply loosen the knob or pull up the lever to adjust them up, down, forward, and backward. Take note of each of the numbers on the adjustment point in the case of multiple users. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, you can reach us at support at diamondbackfitness.com. To see our full line of product, go to diamondbackfitness.com.